Hey everyone and welcome to this video. So today I am not at a junkyard because they're all closed right now. At least the ones near me are. So I am trying to find you guys video sources. I think I found something you guys might really like. It's a Ford which gets seemingly my highest view videos. Um, it's got the same front end as my most popular video on YouTube and well it's sort of the same thing almost, but not maybe not quite as rare. Let's turn it around and see. Yep, I found a around mid-80s Royal Classic, about 20-foot RV. Um, I'm not sure exactly what year it is yet. We're going to take a look around it, and we're going to find out what year it is. Now, it's not mint, but it's actually in fairly decent shape. Just a little bit of damage here but that's totally repairable and oh wow the windows open there that should probably be closed um, of course the uh, paint or whatever this is is peeling off um you guys it is an 80s model so it's definitely seen its days now unfortunately I can't run it because it is sort of of course, that's locked there. Um, <laughs> plastic steps are not in the greatest shape, but 80s model, guys. It's it's seen its days. So we're gonna go in quickly and unlock the door so I can see the year of it. Oh my, <laughs> the 70s, or the 80s puked up in this thing. We'll open the hood, and we'll go back outside. So, I guess we'll take a look under the hood since I pulled that. Come on. Maybe this hood doesn't want to open for me either. Well, that's what I did. The hood didn't want to open. There we go. So this is a... Ah, uh, where's the year on this? It's a 1988. So I wasn't too far off with the saying it was a mid-80s. How do I open hoods on these ones? I'll figure it out. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Got it. Okay, so this one has a 460 V8 under the hood. That is a 7.5 liter V8. And, um, well, it's a pig on fuel. <laughs> and it's not very easy to service either, but it's, um, it obviously has a place for two batteries. There is only one in it, but I believe that is dead because this thing's been sitting for at least a year. So, the story behind this one is that um, I guess insurance had said it was uninsurable because the gas or propane wasn't up to snuff anymore for what they wanted to see. I don't know, but that's what I heard. And this one has 87,738 kilometers on it. I mean, this is still a, a baby. Wood grain on the steering wheel, of course. It's got the Royal Classic badge right there. And you can level it, too, just like that. Kind of neat, actually. Do not forget to lower antenna. Might be a TV antenna on the roof. 
but it's gray interior with wood grain. It is manual windows, but it does have the cool tip out windows, which <laughs> that one's not gonna work right for me. I don't wanna break. As you can see, there's more coming apart up here. It's, it needs a bit of work, but it's not in bad shape by any means. Under here, I believe this is the water, the sewage thing? No, this is just storage, actually. Okay, that's just storage. I think that was painted on after the fact, maybe. I don't know. Hot water heater. And this is the back of the fridge. Which looks like the fridge was actually replaced at some point. There we go. That door is really rotten, but there's a storage pocket right here. This is an oldie. That's for sure. Now I've covered up their license plate for obvious reasons, but here's the back. It's been sitting a while. It's got a vent on the roof, and I don't know if the roof leaks, but the bumper has been bumped, <laughs> and it's held on with zip ties, but yeah. Looks like it took this with it when it went, but it's still a totally usable RV. And, uh, well, it's got its flaws. Let's take a look inside, though. We'll start up at the front here. So I'm not going to go up here because I do not trust this. But uh, there is water damage a little bit. I'm going to close this window for them. I can. Oh, there it is. There we go. Close that up a bit for them. So water can't get in all over the place. But yeah, that's uh Oh, this one's open too. Maybe they had them open on purpose. But yeah, everything's open in here. And, uh, curtains are old. Kind of neat, though, how they have them held up like that. They, uh, they originally sit in a track. The track is, of course, broken, but there is Velcro there now to hold it. Cabinets up here. Um, your water tanks and your battery status stuff. Guys, I just love the styling in this one. The nice wood everywhere. That's like oak too. This folds out into a bed. This one does not have a slide out. And two chairs. Oh man, love the pink. <laughs> Swivel seats, I don't exactly know how they work. Nope, that's recline. <laughs> I don't know how the swivel seats work, but there are swivel seats. Cassette player. It had air conditioning, might still work. And a CB radio, which is what that whip on that mirror is for. I much prefer this style over the one I just previously did, which was a coach bus style. Little table in your entry, two cup holders in this table. And if I'm not mistaken, there's seat belts in this too, I think. Yes, there is. Now this bench looks like it's bad and water is coming in somewhere, it looks like. Yes, this fridge has been replaced. It would have been a Fridge up to here, down to there, and it would have been a gas or electric one, but it's not anymore. Pantry, and the furnace is under here. Little furnace though, and that furnace 
ducts through the side of the, the van going this way and this way. So, yeah, that's how that one was. But then under here you see these tracks. This comes down into a table or into a bed. And what's well, kind of cool, actually, it comes down into a bed and you have a whole other... I think this is a twin bed or a single bed here. It's a bit short, but you know what? It works. It gives you a place to sleep. You have a door into the back. It's rather small, but it it's a door nonetheless. Now the pink carpet. <laughs> oh, gosh. Four burner stove, though. And a turntable microwave. I'm not going to open up any of these things. I don't look forward to the stink in them. I don't know if I can get that open. How do I open that? Oh, and the thermostat's right here. Someone's holding it at the bottom. I don't know, it's right here it's holding it. Huh, okay. We'll take a look at that through the window if it can. Because I can't obvious I obviously can't get that to show through there. Oh no, that's the bathroom actually. There's not really much to see in there. So, that was just the bathroom. I don't know why the bathroom is locked, but it is. But it's a fairly big bathroom. Manual awning, of course. Outdoor plugs and cable. No outdoor TV on this one. So, yeah. I don't know why that's locked. I'm not going to try it. I don't want to break it. But yeah. And you have a calendar thing too. That's kind of neat. Thursday, June 4th. Here's your air conditioning. I wonder if that still works. Obviously I can't try it, but yeah. Lovely pink. Lovely, lovely. <laughs> uh. Screen door, of course, and, well, honestly, guys, this is just a nice classic RV that you don't see every day anymore. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, and please, I would super appreciate it if you would subscribe, because, well, I want to know who's liking my videos. Please tell me what you want to see, what you like, and everything, so yeah. I will see you guys in the next video, but yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great day, everyone.